Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Afizat bin Muhammad Saidin My metric number is 056062 Today our group would like to share about Corporate Social Responsibility CSR of Tenaga National Berhad Company Corporate Social Responsibility or CSR is a self-regulatory business strategy that allows a company to hold itself, its stakeholder and the broader public socially accountable. Corporate social responsibility often known as a corporate citizenship allows business to be mindful of their impact on all aspects of society, including the economic, social and environment. For your information, the Nankan National Berhad TNB has adopted the role of driving national development which is central to the company's corporate social responsibility CSR strategy. TNB CSR, on the other hand, goes beyond its fundamental goal. Tenaga National Berhad plays a significant role in CSR efforts by empowering communities, greening the country, promoting a lively workplace and defining market standards. Next, I would like to, sh to invite my friends to share uh, several activities of CSR in Tenaga National Berhad TNB. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muizuddin bin Marzuki and my matrix number is 054877. Now I will talk about the Rural Electricity Supply, BELB program. This program targets to bring rural electrification to houses in traditional villages which are outside the areas they are under the operation of local authorities throughout the country including long houses in the remote areas of Sabah and Sarawak, villages of indigenous people in Peninsula Malaysia, villages on islands, and settlement in small estates which are less than 400 hectares. The program comes under the responsibility of Ministry of Rural and Regional Development who are tasked to improve the well-being of rural residents comprehensively and effectively by developing physical infrastructure and providing extensive basic amenities to rural citizens. BELB program has solved the problem for the residents, there which also provides a lot of benefits to the local residents. The implementation of such programs will not only help the local residents but also the name of Tenaga National Berhad TMB companies will increase and this provides a good view by the community towards TMB. The total cost for the success of this program is around 797 million ringgit. Programs that can help the residents should be continued as it will not only provide them with facilities but also provide them with awareness. For example, this BELB program can give them the realization that solar energy has its own benefits. Where solar energy is a clean, renewable source of energy and it does not cause environmental pollution. Now I will pass this presentation to the next presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Denis Shumai bin Amizad. My metric number is 056495. Okay, let's we go with home rewiring program uh, which is part economy. First of all, a licensed electrician can help you to install new wiring throughout your home. Rewiring a home involves removing outdated wiring and replacing it with modern wiring. New wiring also includes installing a new circuit breaker panel to handle the load of the new wiring system and ensuring that all within God's governing electric wiring are followed. Phone chargers, routers, computers, TV, video game, console and speaker system all use outlets now and it doesn't even include kitchen gadgets that have become popular over time. Next we go to commercial potentialities and readiness of value creation. Rewiring a house from the ground up is a major undertaking but presents an excellent opportunity to make some much needed change and then we uh, the contribution to society we must take into account not only salaries and dividend, tax contribution, contribution and payments to suppliers, but also the skills training we provide and investment we make it in local infrastructure and pollution prevention. Prevention next. Next, we go to the cost. An electrician can assist with the installation of additional power outlets by extending the current wiring. The price range for this wire is from RM. 20 ringgit to RM 800 ringgit depending on whether you want the new electrical socket to be flashed with the wall or not they may need, may need to hack into your walls and then we go to the last part as we know solar panels have a sub 
substantial impact on the market value on your home. They also help to extend the life on a roof by shielding it from the weather while not in use. Solar power also system also use the sun's energy to produce clean energy. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Ayman Najmudin Benar Gaizat and my metric number is 056783. Now, I will continue with the third CSR activity that has been organized by Tenaga National Tribe. The third one activity uh, is focusing on environment, that is mangrove planting program. Actually, this program has started since 2013 and the effort has been continued for nearly a decade. Mangrove tree has been amongst the essential resources by the human, thus the number has become limited lately. So the MB want to make sure that uh, they manage to secure the number of mangrove tree in the future. So this program in general has left a value creation to all level of ages. The MB without fail always remind the community regarding the importance of the mangrove tree by organizing free campaign. So how this program contribute to the community? Besides the mangrove being used by lamp been used as lumber or timber, they can also save life. This is because uh, the trunk and the leaf can be made medicine and the existence of mangrove tree can prevent erosion and protect the land uh, for the people who live nearby. For the cost of this program, TMB did not expose the uh, did not expose the expenses but based on the annual report, the allocation for environment for uh, nearly 1.4 million ringgit. Okay, that's all for my sharing today. I will pass to my friend. Thank you. In conclusion, the concept of corporate social responsibility CSR has been debated since the dawn of human civilization when every human being on the face of the earth was organized to do good to one another in order to improve life in this world. Furthermore, through CSR programs, the poor situation will be better protected through various sources of aid supplied by corporate institutions, whether in the form of financial and material assistance or non-material assistance such as motivational camps for students and so on. With that, I want to say thank you because lend your ears to hear our presentation. That all from us. Assalamualaikum. Thank you.